Hey guys, Hong Yolo here with another beer video. I got another beer from uh, North Carolina, uh, courtesy of Glass Can Bottle Beer Reviews. Uh, it is Blurred Up by Heist Brewing, a 8.4 uh, ABV double IPA. And I can artwork, I think I mentioned it before when I did uh, Mojo, or Moje, sorry. Is it Moje? Yeah, I think it's Moje. Is there Moje or Mojo? I'm pretty sure it's Moje. Um, by the same brewery. I mentioned that I have an Arcan that has very similar artwork, and here it is. Um, it's actually kind of creepy. You got that hop there with uh, four eyes and uh, four arms, and it just looks super cool, but also creepy at the same time. Um, the whole can art is actually pretty awesome, man, with all the colors and whatnot. Um, yeah, and they're out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I uh, kind of mentioned that earlier. And it says, uh, keep cold, drink fresh. Uh, let's get this into a glass, see what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. All right, so I'm pretty excited for this beer because my last one from them was amazing. It was just absolute juice, man. And so I'm pretty excited to see what this one tastes like. I pour it with about, let's say a finger, maybe a little less than a finger of head. Uh, pretty yellowy orange here, not, it's, it's like, I guess it's hazy, but it's not like a juice-like haze. If anything, I guess it's uh, pineapple juice haze. Uh, not quite orange juice, you know, but I guess definitely, I would say it's at least pineapple juice haze. Pretty yellow, um, yellowy orange, I guess. More, I would say more yellow than orange. I can already smell some of the uh, aromas that's coming from this beer. Let's get closer and uh, see what the aroma's like. All right, first off, a ton of pineapples, man. Like not overripe pineapples, just like perfectly ripe pineapples, I suppose. So it smells, I guess, pineapple and sweet, but not super sweet to the point where um, it's like candied, I guess. So it's just like perfectly ripe. If not, if anything, it might be slightly underripe, but I'm just call it ripe uh, pineapples. And of course you get the citrus, you get the tangerines, you get the oranges. Getting slight dankness in this too, actually. And after swirling it a little bit, it actually gets dankier. <laughs> Definitely the pineapples is there though. It smells very tropical. Um, the pineapple acidity, I guess I would call it, and the citrus notes are really blending in together, and then that slight dankness is actually working really well with it. Not sure if I'm getting anything else. Just pineapples, citrus, and date. All right, let's uh, give it a taste. Cheers. Actually, not bad. definitely get a blend of pretty much everything that you get on the nose um, plus a lot of uh, sweetness from malt um, not a lot I guess I mean it's a decent amount of sweetness and it's still lingering around it actually gets breadier as uh, as the beer finishes on your palate it's not that bitter either There's definitely some bitterness there, um, starting from the middle towards the end, and then the sweetness kind of just takes over, but it's absolutely not incredibly bitter at all. You definitely get that citrus and that uh, pineapple like immediately as soon as it hits your palate there. Um, but then it kind of fades out to the sweet, uh, hoppy uh, bitterness that kind of just lingers for a second, and as it finishes, that sweetness that I was mentioning about, actually gets uh, more bready, more biscuity, uh, which is not necessarily bad. It's not overwhelmingly sweet or anything. And it's relatively soft on the palate too, although carbonation uh, kind of cuts through that softness, I suppose. Uh, it kind of, you know, it dances on your tongue a little bit. I'm gonna say mouthfeel is just about water consistency, uh, maybe just half a step above it. It's not quite watery, but it's not like, it, I feel like it wants to be kind of uh, creamy or syrupy, but it's not quite there. 
And while I'm talking, I actually feel some of the alcohol lingering in the back of my throat here. At 8.4, there's no surprise there. Um, not a whole lot else to say, man. This beer is actually pretty damn good. I think I still like Moje a whole lot better because it's uh, like, a, you know, like a really juice forward beer and the appearance was like straight, uh, I think it would have been straight juice. I actually know what it looks like because Matt sent me a picture of what it's supposed to look like. And it looks like straight orange juice, just not in my case with that can, but it still tasted amazing. But enough about that beer. This was uh, Heist Brewings, uh, blurred up a double IPA at 8.4 ABV uh, out of North Carolina. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, comments link below. And as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.